don't know, cuz. I don't know, cuz. Maybe because. Yeah, let me do it. I don't know, cuz. Maybe because it's the end of the night. You know, I'm not high on Stan, uh, uh, Stan Nonius. How do you pronounce his name? I'm butchering it already. I am glad to see him finally graduate from uh, PBC on uh, Fox Sports 1 and actually be on, like, a main card, in this case, a co-feature. Look at the cut on uh, Tomas Delorme I. Jeez. So, once again, I'm T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Right now, um, he should improve to 13-0 and with nine KOs. They were throwing a lot of leather in this fight, but the problem is Delorme, ever since his um, HBO hype job days, when they were trying to hype him up, I've always considered him to be a weak fighter at 147 pounds, meaning you know, he would do good at 140, but punching power or more so to keep fighters off him he don't got it, but nonetheless, he always gives you good fights, and he does come to fight. Like, in this case, they were firing some real major leather, but the pressure of Stanonius, Stanon, Stanonius, God damn it, messed it up. What, what, what was too much for him? So, this is what I'm going to say. Looking at the rankings, of course, they want to have a step-up fight for him. And this is a PBC Al Heyman fighter. So we're going to try to do a nice little process of, oh, shit, of elimination here to see who he possibly can fight. Now, let me pull up my rankings here on my website, FightView360.com. Here to punch stats, by the way. Pause it if you have to. Here, let's listen in to uh, the commentators. Take your time out, please. Like the video. Takes us far when you do that. Uh, and Delorme did some very good work in this fight. Make no mistake about it. And uh, you can see that in his numbers as well. The question is, did he do enough and in what rounds? Let's go to Jimmy Lennon. Yeah, let's listen in. And also the DMX, rest in peace, DMX. Um, that music will get me copywritten. So far, Jordan Kaha has defeated uh, Jonathan Rodriguez in what could be a fight of the year. 115 to 113. Frank Lombardi sees it 116 to 112. And Tom Carason scores the action 117 to 111. All three in favor of the winner of this WBA welterweight world title eliminator. And still undefeated, a Manta Stanionis. The right man won. A Manta Stanionis gets a passing grade in the toughest test of his career. He goes 12 rounds with Thomas Delorme out. Yeah, it was it was a fight in which he had to make adjustments. We're going to listen to uh, his post-fight interview, and also he's going to have a post-fight um, uh, media press conference, and then. I'm gonna go live for uh, Boots Innes versus Sergey Lipinets, which will be which will be my next video after this. And in the background, I have Joe Smith versus Maxim Vlaslov getting touched up. Joe Smith really getting touched up out there. Oh wait, here's the uh, post fight interview. As he kept pressing, pressing, uh, great jab, great power jab. I'm looking at the uh, worked in every angle, body shots. I mean, I was impressed with Stenonis. they definitely a. Um, Hey. You think they'll do Stionis versus um, Akdu Kahorov? Kahorov? He used to be the top rank fighter. Uh, former, he was at what? Wait, let's listen in. What did you learn most uh, this evening about what you could be doing and what you're capable of? Oh, today before the fight, I said I want to test myself, you know, with, with one of the great, you know, uh, elite welterweights in the division. And I tried to my best, you know, I put pressure because in my country, you know, first time they show to my TV, uh, my fight live. So everybody is very excited and everybody is watching. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Back in Lithuania. And so they got the opportunity to see you yes. here tonight. Uh, yes. How much did that motivate you because you are now being shown live to television in the middle of the morning there? Yes, <laughs> it was a big, big pressure, you know, on me. But I was uh, motivated, excited, you know, and I want to test uh, every time I step into the ring what kind of level I can achieve, you know, and with what kind of uh, fighters I can compete. What level do you think you're at now after 13 pro fights? I think I am top 10. I think so. It's my opinion. <laughs> I need experience, you know, but I, th I think I can hang, you know, with, with tough guys. I was sparring with world champions, you know, and I did very well, so I'm... I'm confident I can you know, beat anybody in the welterweight division. Of course, like I said, I need experience. I only had like 13 fights, you know, so 
How soon do you want to fight again? And when you say experience, are you ready for the Porters and Thurmans and Garcias of, of the world? Maybe you guys, a, a, a championship title fight? Of course. If they say you will fight with, with them, you know, I will get a like, right training camp, you know, and I go 100% prepared. You're not breathing very hard. Yes, yes. I, I <laughs> hurt a little bit my hand and during the training camp, you know, and Which during hand? the fight. Both. Both hands. <laughs> but, you, know, you can choke my leg, I will go. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. Not tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Congratulations. Thank Good you. fight. Moro, back to you. All right, Jim. Not bad. I'm not going to spend too long on this because he's about to go back and do his uh, post uh, fight interview, his other one. Here's the scorecards if you want to pause and look at it with the referees, the judges, excuse me, had it. Tom Carusoni, 115 111. Frank Lombardi, 116 112. Steve Weisfeld, 115 113. If I was to put my bet, you know, I mean, really, realistically, he's ranked right now. He's not ranked by the WBC. He probably will be next month. Here was Steve Farhood's scorecard if you want to pause it and look at it. He is ranked by the WBA as expected. By um, um, He's a number 10. By the IBF, he is not ranked. In the WBO, he's not ranked. So... I'm guessing, don't be surprised if he fights the winner of Abel Ramos versus Omar Figueroa. I wouldn't be surprised there at all. He already fought two miles to lower me. That's what it's looking like to me. If you really want me to think, or this Cody Crowley guy, I would not be surprised. But I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Now it's time to get to his post weigh in interview because he's about to sit down. He's going to see the doctors, not post weigh in, post fight interview, post fight media conference. Excuse me, I'm tired. It's late. It's been a long day. Please subscribe.